<laughs> Y'all see my hair? Hold on. Let me turn down this. I was laying on the couch. I actually fell asleep. I got off. I've been off work for a few hours. So I said, I'm going to pick up JB late and take me a nap because I went into the office today and um, went out to lunch with my friend slash coworker, and I was so tired. So I came straight home. I was supposed to run some errands. Girl, no. I came straight home and took a nap. What is this on this counter? Is it sugar? The hell? Um, Y'all see my hair? Let me tell you why my hair looks like this. <laughs> oh, I'm so frustrated. I'm going to have to go ahead and wash my hair tomorrow because it's a hot freaking mess. Look at a close-up of it. It looks stringy. Uh, so this is the result of using pink or moisturizer on some braids and this is what my hair looks like look y'all real quick did y'all catch real housewives of atlanta now i said i would be watching my time but in quite in all honesty that's the only show i watch um while i'm saying it let me get my laptop out you guys um that's the only ratchet show that i'm watching i really been I've been trying to make sure that i spend my time wisely so i look at that when Whenever, but I did catch it Sunday. I was team freaking frack until this latest revelation. Spoiler alert if you have not watched it, don't look at this part. Apparently, Phaedra was the friend that told Portia that Candy and Todd wanted to kidnap her, drug her, and take them to their sex dungeon. First of all, I don't even know why Portia's that dumb enough to believe that from Portia. I mean, um, why Portia's dumb enough to believe that from Phaedra, but Portia is not the smartest, uh, the sharpest knife in the set, right? I think we all can agree with that to that, but I'm like, what the hell? Why does Portia not see why Phaedra got fired? Because it's lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. And, she, and I'm like, damn, you, you must be a horrible lawyer because all this damn lying and her body language just says it all, but I need to probably... Put a, I just need a cough drop. My throat kind of feels funny. Probably because it's allergy season right now. My, my man, when I came in, he was like, thank you for the card. Look, you guys, I do little things. Uh, you got to do little things to keep your relationship up. And we, we go out, as y'all see, we go out quite a bit. But um, we always go to we always go out to eat, you know. We either go out to eat to the movies. So I'm like, you wanna let's do the the wine and sip thing. Let's you know have a, a glass of wine. I almost said a bottle. Look, let's have a glass of wine and paint some stuff. He's like, okay, I'll see about that. Um, I may look into skydiving. They have an indoor skydiving, and I want to do that. Um, but yeah, I just need to take my time to look up some different things for date nights. Um, but no, he was he was thanking me for a card. I bought a bunch of blank cards the other day from Walmart, and I'm just gonna keep them just here. And whenever I feel like giving him a love card, I just write him a little love card and just put them in his car for him. I used to do that a lot when we first started dating. Look, y'all, I just got an Ulta. I wanted to go. I wanted to buy some black lipstick or really really dark lipstick at least, and I found this high voltage lipstick by um nyx so this is what the color looks like this is so dark and this is what i was looking for you see that how dark it is it's like a dark purple and i know i'm not in the best of light let me see yeah see it's still it's healing like here still I don't like this. It's shiny. Uh, it looks like that dang on wet and wild that I just bought a couple of months ago, y'all. Anyway, let me show y'all. I bought the Revolution um, strobe. This is really pretty, a pretty highlighter. And then I got um, this two-in-one. Did I already show y'all this? Cappuccino. And I typically mix, I am, I'm not this dark, but I do have some red undertones. So I typically mix the Revlon Cappuccino with the matte 
360, 350, I can't remember who it is. The Balm Foundation. I typically mix those together because that's a lighter color. So, y'all, let me hush up and go over here. I need to go pick up another print order from Staples. This guy never charges me. I'm going to have to pay him because I don't want him thinking anything. Like, I, you, yeah, I need for you to charge me. I'm going to be like, I need to pay today. So, what I did is I, <laughs> my printer doesn't work, y'all. I need to get another printer. I know I keep saying that. I need to get another printer because I bought some printer cartridges. Spent like $60, $70 more than the freaking printer and the cart and it doesn't even work at all. So, look, I still haven't gone to go pick up JB as you can see. But, um, let me show you what my printout looks like for my spring cleaning. You can see there. Now, I know y'all thinking, now, Hippo, why didn't you just write that in a calendar? Because, look, I bought back in December I bought a couple of different calendars because I was like I'm not spending all look this is my mentality at the time I'm not spending all that money on one calendar so I think I got two calendars from the Dollar Tree and then another calendar at uh, Target everything together was like $18 but that's three calendars I mean three planners excuse me calendars three planners that I'm going to between I just went ahead and bought uh, calendar for the year y'all and I'm way behind because we in May <laughs> I may keep actually I'm not even May I am going to keep the one for his homeschool and stuff you guys I still haven't even had a chance to organize that I actually that's a lot I actually organized his um, supplies I also need to go ahead and start looking at kindergartens because he's gonna be starting kindergarten next year y'all give me some tips about that I have no idea what to do I mean, most of my friends' kids are either graduating from high school or it's been 10 years. I mean, I'm going to be 37 this year. A lot of my friends, I'm the youngest, I'm the only one that has a child this young. I will say this, I was very, very leery about JB going to school here because there's like no black people here, y'all. And I, you've heard me mention this before, my friends who have children that have been raised here, they end, end up having some identity issues. The good thing about me having a child so young right now in this day and age here in Phoenix, Arizona, is that there are more black people moving here. I'm seeing a lot more black people in this area, girl. Like, I'm literally seeing now, I used to, I'm not even exaggerating. About eight years ago, it used to be I would see maybe four or five black people a week. And I'm seeing that a day. I know. It's, that's that's really is a big deal. So I'm hoping by the time he gets into school, he won't be the only black child in his classroom, let alone school. Because that's what a lot of my friends who are raising their um, children here have had to say. Is that their children are the only black kids in the school. We're talking about 400, 500, 600 people, and you're the only brown. That That is so pathetic, y'all. I'm sorry. I just... Ooh, good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. We are outside today. I planted some flowers from some seeds I got from the Dollar Tree. Hopefully, they'll work. And I'm going to come over here and water them. I don't even know where the hell I plant. I'm just going to pour water everywhere. I planted them over here because it's, it's in the shade. So I'm just gonna pour, I know there's one here, pour some water. Is that too much, y'all? I don't know. That probably's not enough. We'll see. I know overwatering your plants um, is not good too. Here, um, the backyard is kind of, it's very spacious. Um, be careful, boo-boo, okay? You want me to get you like a little towel to sit on? No? Yeah, it looks like a towel. Okay. Do you want you want to play with this? You want to go get you your excavator? Yeah. Okay, let me go get in a minute. Um, so our backyard goes around here. I am considering building a um, not building, creating a um, a garden because it goes all the way back here. Here's our pool, but. I don't know you guys, those of you who do a little gardening, let me know. I'm thinking that it needs to be shaded because it gets up to 115 degrees out here. So I'm thinking I could put it either under this tree or over here by these bushes. What the hell is that? What is that? Why is this over our... Oh, this is some type of decoration they have. Um, yeah... 
maybe around here. But yeah, this is little JB's little sand area. <laughs> with that sand put out here a while back. So he can come out here and play in the sand. Y'all, at first I know I'm standing all the way up. That's why we need to cut these bushes down. At first I was so paranoid when he was playing out there a couple of weeks ago because we have snakes out here. We actually, I saw a snake. Uh, it's just a garden snake in front of our house and my neighbor kind of moved it out. It was like a five feet long, five feet long garden snake. But we also have rattlesnakes and we have coyotes and wild pigs and all of the types of stuff. So I was like, oh my God, what if a snake gets him or what if a scorpion sings him? And my husband was like, what if you calm yourself down and let him be a child and play outside? Oh, sorry. Um, but I went ahead and signed him up for swim lessons. Now, it won't be at the YMCA. It will be at the um, Phoenix Recreation and Parks. If you guys have young children, definitely look into that. It is less than half the amount. It's $15 for, it's from June 9th, no, excuse me, July 3rd through July 14th. That's almost two weeks. Um, about nine days because they don't do it on, on 4th of July. Um, for $15 because those people swooped up all of the earlier classes so I couldn't get him. My goal was to get him in this month. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Anything's better than nothing. So I definitely got him into swim lessons this summer. Excited about that. Thank y'all. I have on my workout clothes because I was supposed to have been going working out. But I'm dizzy again. I'm dizzy. I know <laughs> I was really, really dizzy for about two days after that binge drinking. But now I think the dizziness is due to, um, I have BPPV along with a couple of other different things. But basically particles is basically when particles are in your air. I always had, have had issues with my airs. I go to an ENT um, and they do uh, positional exercises to help basically break up those particles. Right now I'm a little okay. It's getting better so that's a sign. Typically, I would have this for weeks without any, unless I go and get aligned, like two weeks. And it, I'm basically down for the count. I can't really do much. It's vertigo 24-7, vertigo while I'm sleeping, which is absolutely nauseating. The only thing that can really help as far as medication-wise is um, Valium, which I really don't like to take because then it makes me sleepy. But, um, yeah, you guys, it is no joke. The vertigo is not fun at all. All right, you guys, so I wanted to share something with you for those of you who are suffering from any type of skin rashes, eczema. I don't even know what else you can use this for. I think an uh, oil thrush is a big one. Um, I recently purchased, I've been purchasing a lot of homeopathic um, ointments, essential oils, all of that to avoid any type of harmful side effects for medication. But something that I recently added was gentian. Is that how you pronounce it? Gent, gentian? Y'all yeah, know I can't pronounce anything. Violet. This was less than 10 bucks that I purchased through Amazon.com. Now, I purchased this along with some turpentine. Y'all, a lot of this stuff, I really do think a lot of this stuff, the FDA does not want us to use. So they put these crazy labelings on them um, for external use only when, when there have been mothers who have used this product for their babies when they have oil thrush and they're perfectly fine. So, um... Get to the point, girl. Yesterday, I woke up and I had horrible eczema in the corner of my arm. I always get in the corner. I'll show you what it looks like now. It was raised. It was a bunch of bumps. It was itchy as hell. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if this purple stuff will work. I put it on there. It immediately dyes your skin, okay? And the only way to get it off, they said to use alcohol or vodka. Girl, I'm not using my vodka for that. I will use tons of alcohol, though. So let me show you guys. You can still see it kind of tinted my arms. Um, right there in the crease. You see where I'm bending it at? Right there where you see it's kind of dark. It is completely healed in less than 24 hours. If I could get up close to it. I mean, it was raised. The bumps were raised and it was red. Um, and another thing that I've done, I'll have to turn the camera around for this, is for about four or five days now, I've been having 
pain pain with my varicose veins now i have varicose veins on my inner upper leg or thigh and i've always had them and it seems like you know when i'm on my feet a lot they get worse so it was hurting it was throbbing and so i was like i wonder what would happen like i almost fell i wonder what would happen if i put this stuff on it so sure enough i put some on it and within three hours the pain has subsided now i'm gonna show you it's gonna look like I fell over and yeah so see this is how it looks but you can see the veins I mean you can see it kind of raised but it was really bad you can really see right there it was really bad now another thing that helps with varicose veins and I've done a blog post about this you know, I have goosebumps because I'm cold is um, cypress oil I don't have any cypress oil but I do have other oils that I could use on here but yes you guys pretty pretty much clearing up it's time to get out baby no, it's time to get out. Let me see you jump. Let me see what do you do. Oh my goodness. I, I jump. I, I do 10. I do 10. Oh my God. Is he jumping from there? Hold on. Let me can't put it on camera. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. That was the one that says jump. That was the one that says Baby, you get the chocolate. Pool. You were uh, scared at first, but now you're okay, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's you okay. Go back in the house. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> he, said back in the house. he told me to go back in the house. <laughs> go back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jump in the pool. Um, tonight we're gonna have kale Caesar salad, and y'all, I don't really have a recipe. I just use whatever I have in the kitchen. So we have. Um, Romaine lettuce here. I'll probably just use one. Some kale. We have some shredded carrots. We have some great tomatoes. We have some cucumbers. I have some frozen corn that's defrosting. Um, and then I sprinkle in a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to use some um, croutons. Croutons are these Parmesan crisps. I really do like these. For dressing, I have a little bit of this Marie Callender Caesar, but I've been really digging the yogurt dressing by Baltimore, excuse me, Bolt, Bolt House Farms. They have several different types of dressing and I really do like it. And look at the calories. Compared to this, this is like half of that. Um, we're gonna have chicken on top. I'm gonna make a hot wing barbecue sauce for the chicken. It's, it consists of wing sauce, barbecue sauce, a little bit of ketchup that is on the oven right now so we're away. I'm going to fry these up, boneless chicken breasts, and then dredge them in the swing sauce, quote unquote. Very good, very quick. Everything should be done within 20 to 30 minutes. 